Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're cooking a pig on a spit with a twist. We're going to cook two whole chickens with inside the pig itself. Cooking a whole pig on a spit may seem like a lot of hard work, but the secret is it really only just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. To start off with, get the coals going in your pit. For the seasoning, we're going to need a whole lot of fresh herbs. My parents happen to have an amazing herb garden and a whole lot to choose from. For this cook, I'm going to use lemongrass, lemon thyme, garlic chives, Italian parsley and sage. Chop the lemongrass lengthways and then in half. Chop up the lemon thyme, Italian parsley, garlic chives and then finally the sage. I've got two lemons to put inside the chickens. Cut slits into the side so the juices can ooze out while cooking. Make sure to rinse the herbs and let them dry a little. In a bowl, add garlic. Then season with salt and pepper. To help it to stick together, add a little bit of olive oil. Combine all those beautiful ingredients together. To finish off the prep, cut the slits into two whole apples. Next, place the lemons inside both the chickens and cut a small hole in the flap of the skin to hold the legs. Now lay your pig on its back, pour in your herb mix and spread it out. Take both of your chickens and place them inside the pig. Finally, add your apples. Take your spit pole, stick it into the back of the pig through the chickens and out the other side. Using food safe wire, sew the chest together, locking in the chickens and those amazing flavours. Those coals are getting really nice and hot and ready to go. When it comes to coals, my favourite brand is Clean Heat Barbecue. They burn hot and they burn for a really long time. Tie the legs together and place the holding spikes. To help make beautiful crackling on the outside, rub salt all over. Now, all that's left to do is put the pig on the spit and turn on the motor. The key to this is keeping one eye on the spit at all times. A pig this size will take about 8 to 10 hours to cook. I found for a start we had too much coal and we had to back it off. At about the four hour mark, I felt the skin was getting a little too much color. So we wrapped the middle of the pig with our foil so the inside will continue cooking and the outside will stay perfect. Continue to cook for four to five hours until the meat is perfectly tender. How amazing is it looking? It's about time to let this rest for at least half an hour to an hour. Time to carve it up. Check out how amazingly tender and juicy this pork is. It's one of the main advantages of cooking it on a spit. 
Remove the chickens and carve them up. They are super tender and because the pork doesn't have an overwhelming flavour, the chicken tastes amazing. Well folks, all that's left to do is eat. There you have it, a pig on a spit with two chickens. It's a great showcase piece for any function. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any recipes, leave them in the comments.